imagine if I accidentally hit checkout and like I bought a thousand dollars worth of stuff. I have a lot of setting sprays in my car. It's in my car, <laughs> in my cart. And not the concealer, the powder. Hello, concentrate. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my $1,000 Sephora basket wish list. I think that's what the name of this video is. I've seen so many people do this and I thought it would be so much fun to just sit down and talk to you about all the products I would buy if I just wanted to spend $1,000 on Sephora. Before I end this video, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I would also love for you to head over to my Instagram and... Show me some love there, follow me there, join my IG fam, and I post every single weekday over there. More creative looks, starting a fruit series next week. As you're watching this, it'll be my fruit series. It's so exciting. But yeah, let's get into this video. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was putting things in my cart <laughs> in Sephora. Imagine if I accidentally hit checkout and like I bought a thousand dollars worth of stuff. But I was shocked at how few items I put in my cart before it told me I had hit a thousand dollars. Like that's really scary, I'm not gonna lie. I have around 20 items in my cart and it's a little more than a thousand dollars so I'm gonna have to make some decisions when it comes because I added like a bunch of perfumes and I'm like okay let me just, I'm gonna have to take a few out because that's what costs like a lot of money. I don't have things in any specific order in my cart and I just kind of want to go down the list because otherwise I'm gonna miss something. It's not gonna be in any particular order. There is one thing that's not in my cart because it's out of stock right now and I'm dying for it to get back into stock and it's something that Kathleen Lights always recommends in her videos and in her Instagram Makeup Monday situation. And that is the Ilia Night Light Bronzer Powder. It has been out of stock for so, so long and I really, really want that powder on my face. <laughs> but it's $34. I would probably get the light medium shade because it looks like pretty dark, like it could actually work when I also have a fake tan but she raves and raves about that bronzer it looks like it is pretty in the middle like neutral like it's not too cool tone and it's not too warm tone so I definitely want to check out that bronzer I'm like I need I'm in need of a new well I just bought that Charlotte Tilbury bronzer I don't really need a new bronzer I don't need any of these to be honest I don't need any of these but that would definitely be in my cart if I could have it in my cart. Next, I have some Patrick Ta products that I also want to try out. I actually just purchased one of these blushes, but it is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush, but I got the shade, I actually purchased it. I'm gonna do a haul with it soon. This is the shade She's So LA, and I bought this before I realized that there was like a huge Sephora coupon happening, so I'm really upset about that, but whatever. I definitely want the shade Do We Know Her, because it's like a nice peachy coral, and I love a good peachy blush, so I definitely want to get that one as well, but I want to test out this formula first and see if i really like it i also would totally love to get the precision lip crayon it looks like it is a lip liner but it's like kind of thick it looks like a brow definer but like in a liner form like you would put it on your lips but anyway i want this shade she's not from here because it's a nice orange red the only orange red i own is from jeffree star and i'm trying not to use his stuff on my channel right now because he's a little bit controversial i definitely want another orange red and i definitely want to test out that formula i've heard great things about patrick ta products so i mean i own a few things from patrick ta but i also want the lipstick that goes with that and that is the shade she's not from here as well right yeah they're, they're the same shade the lip crayon is 26 dollars and the lipstick is 32 dollars so it's a bit of a luxury item but i definitely would get those and i would i would have gotten so much use out of them in the summer because i love wearing bright orange in the summer oh i want it so badly i also want this lip gloss that kathleen recommended a few months ago i want to say it was in one of her favorites videos i think and it's from shiseido and it's the shimmer gel lip gloss in the shade toki nude when she swatched that i was like i want that it looks really really pretty i'm pretty sure it's like a pink undertone it's described as a sheer nude pink with multicolored pearls i definitely want to test out and see how i like that gloss i'm really picky about the glosses i like like the one i'm wearing right now is from Olimar cosmetics it's the dulce lip gloss and it's not too sticky it is perfect it gives a really nice sheen to the lips it makes your lips nice and juicy as kathleen would say but but she really likes that one, so I definitely want to try it out as well. I also really want this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Double Ended Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. The reason I haven't bought that yet is because I have so many mascaras to go through because I'm on the Benefit PR list and they continuously send me mascaras. And I'm like, I love you for that because Benefit mascaras are my favorite. Like, I'm wearing the Bad Gal Bang right now. It's absolutely my favorite mascara in the whole world. 
but I don't want to buy more mascaras if I have so many in my collection already. So I've been holding off on that one. That one's $27 and I'm just like, ugh, I don't know if I would buy that. I also want to try out the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I've been wanting to try that for so long. The only thing that's holding me back is that I've heard it's like a really nice hydrating primer, but it doesn't do anything for smoothing the skin. And I really need that smoothing the skin situation because I have large pores. I mean, I do have dry skin, so I'm sure I would get some use out of it. I'm just like afraid it won't like cater to my every need if you know what i mean so i have been holding off on purchasing that one i have a lot of setting sprays in my car it's in my car <laughs> in my cart it's kind of ridiculous so i have the anastasia beverly hills dewy setting spray that one's 26 dollars. i would absolutely love to get that one because i love me a good dewy setting spray and i probably would have really liked that in the summer as well like oh my gosh i should have yeah we'll see i also really wanted where is it the the new charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray that one's 35 dollars. that's a little pricey but charlotte tilbury is really really pricey but i really want that one because i really like the flawless um the airbrush line like i have the airbrush concealer i have the airbrush bronzer and not the concealer the powder hello concentrate it actually looks airbrushed when i put it on the powder like when i set my under eyes with it like it is such a great line so i part i'm pretty sure i would love that setting spray and i also have the fenty beauty setting spray that one is 30 dollars. it's the what it do refreshing spray and kathleen loves the sprayer on that one she also loves the as you can see i take a lot of inspo from kathleen but she she loves the setting spray i'm just like it has not so great reviews i mean it has like almost four stars but I don't know to me like it has to have a, at least four and a half stars for me to like even consider getting it even though like i like to test out makeup for myself and see if i like it but they do have a smaller size that's 18 dollars, so i might end up purchasing that to see if i like it the travel size definitely isn't more economical but it's amazing to be able to test out some products before buying the full size before committing to the full size so i definitely would check that out i would also love to check out the fenty beauty diamond what's it called the diamond balm all over diamond veil in how many carats i'm working on a dupes video like drugstore dupes for high-end products and i found a drugstore dupe for that one i'm pretty sure but i need to like test it out first but it looks really pretty anyway and it's something that i would definitely use so i definitely want to check it out as well then we have i'm almost done <laughs> like what what is life? Oh, we have a NARS Orgasm Cheek Palette. So I think I saw Babs Beauty unbox this on her Instagram stories and I love the way it looked. It was so, so pretty. I think it has two blushes and a highlighter. I love the NARS blushes. They're one of my favorite formulas of all time. They do look really, really pretty and they look like a little, like they have a little bit of a sheen, which I like in blushes sometimes. And the highlighter looks really, really pretty. So I definitely want to check it out. It has really great reviews as well. And that one is $42. So I'm really interested in that. I also have like this random tool in my cart. This is from Nurse Jamie. This is the Uplift Massaging Beauty Roller and it is $69. To me, that is like like what are you doing with your life like that is so expensive but i've heard great things about it i think i heard huda beauty talking about it on her stories once like a year ago or something and it just is a nice uplifting like you want to make all the blood flow upwards so you don't sag i don't know if it's a gimmick honestly i don't know if i would ever buy that but it's in my cart i have some skincare as well this is the primera miracle seed essence i heard skincare by Hiram, of course talking about this he believes that this essence is the best essence out there even though he does not believe in essences ever and when i watched that video that he said he doesn't believe in essences it made me cry because i had just bought the tatcha essence and oh my gosh to me an essence is like a luxury product that you do not need by any means whatsoever but it's still like nice to have it's still really great to just absorb like for your skincare to just like absorb everything so i will see that one's 58 dollars, so it's really pricey but i think it comes with like cotton pads or something at least from what i see in the picture it looks really interesting something i would spend money on even though i probably shouldn't <laughs> these are the kojendo cleansing spa water cloths i've always wanted to try these as a makeup artist i use a lot of makeup wipes and i know they're really bad for the environment but i just i there's no other way i can go around it like i can't wipe my clients like what's a paper towel like i can't do that and i also i honestly use them on myself as well especially during the halloween season like when i just need to wipe something really quick like it's really easy and convenient to use to me 59 dollars 
for freaking makeup wipes is absolutely ridiculous but they have really great reviews and everyone seems to love them so i would definitely love to give those a chance and i probably wouldn't use them like to spot clean like i do with my regular like five dollar neutrogena cleansing wipes but you know what i mean and i think this is newer this is the youth to the people oh it's not newer i think the mini is newer but i would try the mini it's only 15 dollars. this is the youth to the people mini super berry hydrate and glow dream mask so because i need hydration because my skin is so dry i would definitely love to try that mask out i put the mini on my cart it's 15 dollars, and it says it's new but i don't think the actual mask is new i think they just came out with a mini and that's what makes it new. all right in terms of all the perfume i have i'm gonna have to take some out of my cart i'm gonna just i'm gonna talk you through them anyway all right we're gonna start at the top so Dior, the Dior Miss Dior perfume is my absolute like dream to own. I have owned so many samples of that perfume that like it's ridiculous that I just might as well budge and get the, you know, the smallest size is, let me see, $75. Yeah, the smallest size is $75 and it has 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. Let's put the smallest one in my cart. Let's just say that I want all of these perfumes in my life. And I'm gonna take the bigger one. I had the 135 one in my cart, so I'm gonna take that one out. All right, then we've got the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. That one smells so good. By the way, Miss Dior is really, really sweet smelling. So if you don't like sweet smells, you probably, all of these are sweet smelling. All of these smell really similar, I'm not gonna lie. I've owned so many of the Flower Bomb um, minis as well. The mini size, the smallest size, I think it's a rollerball and it's $32. I don't want a rollerball, so I'm gonna get the one up, and that one's $55, and that one has 20 milliliters or 0.68 fluid ounces. I'm gonna put that one in my cart and take the bigger one out, which was 165. That's insane, guys. I also love the Lancome La Vie Espel. It smells really, really similar to the Misty Or. It has, it's like a combination of the Misty Or and the Flower Bomb. So, so good. I love it. But the smallest one is $74. There's a rollerball as well, but I don't want the rollerball. I'm gonna put that one in my cart and take out the bigger one, which was 123. That's not the biggest one, but that's the one that I had in my cart. And then we have the Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. So that one smells so good. I've also had samples of that one. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with perfume, as you can see. And I do have the smallest one in my cart, and it's $96, which is insane, you guys. So I'm a little bit over. Oh no, I'm not. I'm right on the money, you guys, so I can keep all those perfumes. Oh wait, no, I have one more. <laughs> I forgot one. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. Oh my gosh, you know what? La Vie is Beau, the Lancome one, smells like a mix of black opium and like flower bomb. They all smell so similar, like it's really hard to tell you the difference and I'm really bad at describing scents, but I love all of those scents so, so much. And I think I had the smallest one in my cart, that's not the rollerball. The rollerball is $29 and the one that I have in my cart is $76 and that one is a one ounce, 30 milliliter. Oh my gosh, that's $1,000.45, so honestly, <laughs> I'm crazy. That is what I would purchase. I know I don't have like many interesting things like I didn't have any eyeshadow palettes And honestly, I guess if I could go back I would maybe take out some of the perfumes and put in like a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette or a Pat McGrath one The thing with the Natasha Denona palettes is that I think that they're so pricey for no reason Like honestly, I get this is a Morphe palette that I have on my eyes today Like and you know Morphe is just way more affordable I just think that Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona are expensive for no reason like the quality is there But it's not like Ugh, I own a few of the minis of the Natasha Denona. I actually have not tried the Pat McGrath, so I don't even know. I, I could be talking complete garbage right now, but it's okay. So this was just like a lot of fun to just talk you through some of the stuff that's in my cart right now or my $1,000 shopping spree that I'm never gonna have. I better go move these all to my loves list because I'm afraid that I'm going to accidentally check out and spend $1,000.45 this Sephora. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Let me know what you would buy if you had $1,000 to spend at Sephora because this is just so, so much fun. And please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah, I don't know. I don't have any, I don't have anything. And I, that is the, and I would definitely get the shade. Um, I also want this lip gloss that, oh, hello.